As we all know, in the field of 5G, the number of base stations built in China has reached 1.15 million, making China become the country with the highest 5G signal penetration rate in the world. However, a recent news suddenly hit the internet. Japan and the United States announced at the same time that they would invest $4.5 billion to jointly develop 5G and 6G, with the aim of taking away the market share from Huawei and ZTE. At present, is China still at the leading edge in 5G and 6G technology? How should China deal with the ambition of the United States and Japan? What would 6G look like, and do we need it? Okay, welcome to TechTel, a channel to interpret news from a new perspective, and explore the wisdom behind the news. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's continue the topic we are talking about. When it comes to 6G, we must mention 5G. What is 5G? A simple understanding is the fifth generation of communication technology, which is more than 10 times faster than 4G. Most people haven't realized how fast 5G is because the base station is not yet fully covered. When the 5G base station is fully covered and the 5G technology is fully mature, what will it bring us? Well, we can use AR and VR to see things thousands of miles away, and we can sit and chat with friends remotely. If the brain-computer interface becomes popular, the brain is connected to the computer and VR equipment, and our nerves are stimulated through the data of the brain interface, and we can smell the fragrance of roses given to us by our lover thousands of miles away, and the taste sensations brought to us by food from all over the world. At present, if we are seriously ill, we have to travel thousands of miles to a well-known hospital in a big city to line up for treatment, just to wait for a bed so that we or our lover can survive. With 5G, well-known doctors around the world can give us medical treatment on the internet, and they can remotely command operations thousands of miles away, so that the problem of uneven distribution of medical resources can be improved a lot. For example, in 2019, a doctor in Wuhan remotely instructed a cervical spine surgery on an elderly person. The Wuhan doctor remotely watched and commanded through Mr. Glasses, which is the combination of VR and AR. With this technology, the surgical techniques of first-class doctors can be standardized, and the average level of medical and surgical operations performed by Chinese doctors can be greatly improved, benefiting the people of the whole country, and everyone no longer has to rush to see a doctor in a hospital in a big city. 5G has changed all aspects, and the problem of traffic jams is also a stubborn disease in many cities. However, Autonomous driving and 5G technology can be comprehensively dispatched through the command system of the traffic department, which can greatly alleviate the problem of traffic congestion and reduce traffic accidents. The road rage will also become a thing of the past. So, what might the 6G world look like? Xu Jijun, the rotating chairman of Huawei, has publicly stated that 6G is 50 to 100 times faster than 5G. The download speed of 6G technology can reach 1 terabyte per second which means that dozens or hundreds of high-definition movies can be downloaded in one second. Compared with 5G, 6G is a combination of satellites, ground base stations, and marine base stations to provide comprehensive information coverage of sea, land, and air. Whether it is in the remote South Pole or the vast desert and no-man's land, network communication there can be achieved. At the same time, the form of 6G information interaction will be further improved. It is the notion of the Internet of Senses, whereby people might be able to smell, feel and taste things within a digital world. Humans can use VR, AR, MISTER and other devices to interact with information through holographic communication, which means that human vision, hearing, touch, smell, taste and emotions can be mobilized through various devices. You can experience the coldness of Antarctica from thousands of miles away. At the same time, humans can learn, make friends, entertain, and even fall in love in a virtual environment. Many people may have this question, since 5G has not been fully covered, is it a bit too early to develop 6G? Actually, it is not, because each country is using the current generation while pre-research the next generation. At present, the progress of 5G development in the United States is far less than that of China but it has begun to jointly develop 5G and 6G technologies with Japan, and speed up the testing of 5G and 6G, in an attempt to surpass China in 5G coverage and 6G research and development. In addition, the US telecommunications industry has formed the Next G Alliance. The strategic mission of the alliance is to study and establish a 6G technology development route, 
and establish the technological superiority of the United States in the 6G era. At present, more than 30 global communication technology giants such as Intel, Qualcomm, Apple, Samsung and Nokia have participated in this alliance. Just recently, South Korea also announced its own 6G development strategy, planning to launch 6G pilots around 2026 and 6G commercial use in 2028. In addition to the next G alliance established by the United States, Finland's Nokia and Sweden's Ericsson established the Hexarex alliance under the leadership of the European Union to start research on 6G communication technology. Then, how is the development of 6G in China? According to relevant data, since 2009, the number of patent applications in China in the 6G field has risen rapidly, surpassing that of South Korea, Japan, the United States, and Europe. For global patents in the field of 6G communication technology, the number of Chinese applications has reached 38,000, and the proportion of related technology patents has reached 35%, ranking first in the world. In November 2019, China specially established a national 6G technology research and development working group and an overall expert group, which means that the national team has begun to enter the research work in the 6G field on a large scale. In terms of technology development and application, Huawei has established a 6G R&D laboratory very early, and has made progress in hardware and information antenna research. In terms of software, Huawei has begun to use artificial intelligence deep learning, which is widely used in 6G communications. In addition, the Millimeter Wave Terahertz Industry Development Alliance, led by a number of China's companies, intends to gain technological advantages in 6G, and counter against the establishment of the Next G Technology Alliance by the United States. On November 6, 2021, the world's first 6G test satellite, University of Electronic Science and Technology, launched by China was successfully launched and entered the prescribed orbit to start related work. This is the world's first space technology verification in the field of terahertz communication. It is also an important step for China to realize the technical verification of 6G, C, land, and air. What's more, it also marks a breakthrough in China's terahertz space communication technology in aerospace technology. All in all, from lagging behind to leading, China's unremitting efforts in telecommunications will eventually be an important part of China's rejuvenation. And for the United States and Japan, which want to catch up with China, I am afraid it is not that easy. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas with other people. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. We will see you in the next video.